Hey guys, this is the first RFmods.com update and I just wanted to show you guys a few things that I've been working on. So one of them is uh, Halo Reach and how it works with my rapid fire controller. On any new controller you buy, Halo Reach is mode 1 and mode 1 works good with the assault rifle and makes it shoot perfectly straight just like this. As a compared to non-rapid fire where it shoots all over the place. You can see how the reticule never moves and it stays right in its place. It actually helps a lot for killing people. You can um, you know, aim right at their head and just basically direct all your shots right into their head and it helps kill them faster. Also, even if you're still aiming at their body, you're putting more shots into them as opposed to more shots missing even though it does shoot a little bit slower so that's what I found out there and um, next I'm going to show you the DMR I made this mode myself this isn't a mode that's on the controller so you can make this mode out of anything um, basically I use speed one <laughs> and, and it'll shoot the DMR perfectly straight and that's a lot better than compared to the the insane recoil you can get and you can kill people within three shots as opposed to ten or a whole clip so that's what I've discovered here now on the Modern Warfare 2 I have updated the speed for the FAL so now mode 2 is speed 240 and it shoots a lot faster and for those of you with an older controller um, from two months ago, three months ago, you can change the speed right on the controller. Um, it is four up from the factory setting on mode two. So the factory setting on mode two would, would, would have been 236 and this one's now 240. So just go into edit mode, do that, update it real quick, shouldn't take you more than a second. Now for Call of Duty 5, World at War. Um, I have found a better speed for this game especially if you use the M1A1. The normal speed is speed 180 on mode 5. I noticed a lot of people are telling me now that the game's not working. Well, you need to remember that you need to use mode 5. If you don't use mode 5, you'll get mod blocked in this game, and for the rest of the game, you'll shoot extremely slow. So don't change around with it, unless it's to what I tell you. Just leave it at mode 5, and you should be all set, and it'll work great. So this is the stock speed. As you notice, it's not extremely fast, especially with this gun if you use a box clip or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the speed and to speed 189. And this speed is a little bit faster. And um, if you hold down the trigger, continuously hold it down, you won't get mod blocked until like five or six clips. This is terribly boring. So that's just showing you that you can still hold down the trigger and you won't get mod blocked and it is a little bit faster. Um, it doesn't really work that well with smaller clip weapons because the more clips you shoot continuously holding down the trigger the faster you will get blocked. So you can shoot through a whole entire pistol clip and then reload and then shoot it again and you won't get mod blocked. But just don't hold down the trigger for too long otherwise you will get blocked. I don't know if it's going to do it for me here but uh, I guess not. So as you can see this is a pretty safe speed. Um, let me show you with the oh, no, wrong one. There we go. With the SVT. And I still haven't gotten blocked.
And there we go, I finally got blocked. So that took me almost 10 clips just to get blocked in this game. So as you can tell, this is a pretty safe speed. And I think I might change it so that is the stock speed for this game. I know a lot of people still play this game recently. And um, if you don't have this speed, it is speed 189. It is 9 up from the original Call of Duty 5 speed on mode 5. And it worked great with all these guns. So just do that and fix the speeds for the other games if you need to. It all depends on which ones you play. You don't have to update anything. And um, that just shows you the beauty of this controller that, you know, you can update the speeds for games without having to send it back to me. And I update it for you. You know, this is ever-changing, you know, constantly evolving controller. So, um, it also should work with Call of Duty Black Ops. I'm just going to show you a video in a minute of um, the M14 and showing you that that's still in the game. And I believe that that will also work with the controller. So here's the video. And as you can see, the M14 pops up. So I believe that it's, it will work just fine because with past Call of Duty games, all you need to do is just change the speed and it will work for any semi-automatic weapon. And since the M14 is an automatic, semi-automatic weapon, it will work just fine. Also there are uh, Kimbo pistols and regular pistols. So just expect to see that for rapid fire and um, looks like this game will work just the same as the others. So should have a good year ahead of us for next Call of Duty games. Alright, thanks guys. See ya.